Welcome back to my channel. Hello, hello, hello. I am so excited to do this video tonight. This is going to be your dating 101, five tips, three red flags, three green flags, and just a couple extra freebies thrown in there. All right, so I wanna jump straight into this video and just give you guys everything that you need to know. This is all from my experiences. This is my tips and tricks. Everyone is going to have different opinions about the things that I am going to say. These are just things that have helped me out. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so my first tip for you is to put yourself first. Put your self-growth, your self-love first before anything else. Coming to a relationship with your own stuff figured out is going to make things so much easier for the entire relationship to last to continue to grow and everything but if you're not growing on your own it's going to be really really hard to find someone who's also growing so coming with your best foot forward and you at your healthiest at your best is always going to make someone much more attracted to someone who looks like they've got their life figured out never ever sacrifice your bedtime your routines just to go hang out with a man we don't do that around here Okay, number two, do not go into every single situation looking for a relationship. Once you're looking for it, it's so much harder to find. Allow things to come to you with ease. Also, when you're not putting that pressure on meeting someone for the first time and wanting it to turn into a relationship or hanging out with a guy a couple times or a girl, whatever it might be, a couple times, if you put that pressure on it, it's going to feel that way. You're going to both kind of feel like you're, you're just getting into things a little bit too quickly. Really have a good understanding of who is this person that you're spending your time with. Do you like the way that they fold their laundry? Do you like the way that they keep their apartment or their house? Are you attracted to the way that they respond to people in public? All of those things really matter when it comes to building a life with someone. So don't just jump into all these things. Really pay attention to everything. Sit back, observe a little bit of who the people are that you're going out with and you'll learn so much more about that person. Number three is the one that all of us have heard over and over and over again and it's actions speak louder than words. I promise you, you will save yourself so much time. I want someone who's going to show me what I mean to them and show me that I am someone who's important to them. So all the words that they speak doesn't mean anything until their actions line up with that. If they're saying that they deeply care for you, they shouldn't be talking to other people. So just keep that at the forefront of your mind. Actions always speak louder than words. And there's a reason why everyone and their mom tells you that. Number four, never ever settle, ever. We don't do that, okay? I don't settle for nobody. I know you guys don't either because you're on this channel for a reason. If he is not or if she is not measuring up to the things that you are committed to getting out of a relationship, peace out. Like, that's it. Make a list for yourself of the things that you want to have in a man. This was the best thing that I could have done for myself. When I wrote down exactly who I wanted my person to be, I said I wanted someone who was developing themselves daily. I wanted someone who was going to challenge me in certain areas. I wanted someone who's going to make me laugh, have a great time and whatever it might be. I wrote all of those down and I swear to you, I almost feel like I have manifested many relationships that have come into my life because I just knew exactly what I wanted. So get specific on what you want and never ever settle for anything less. There are always more fish out in the sea. There is hundreds and hundreds of people that you can be with instead. Don't just settle for just anybody. Okay, and number five, last but not least, what is meant for me is mine. So always know that no matter how things go and the relationship that you're in or the person that you're talking to, just know that it's always going to be to serve you. And that's exactly what you want. Whether it's a lesson that you needed to learn or an experience that you had to go through so that you wouldn't experience it later on in the future, it always happens in your favor. You have to believe that every single time that someone breaks your heart, it's for someone else to come along and to replace that heartbreak. There's always a reason behind every single thing that happens. Every single event in your life is going to serve you in some way, shape, or form, and you have to trust that. So every single relationship that doesn't work out, be thankful for that. Know that a better one is coming, and all you have to do is show up as your best self to get that person as their best self as well. All right, let's get into the three green flags I have for you guys tonight. 
Number one, emotional and communicative intelligence is important. Make sure that the person that you're matching with is someone who actually can communicate their feelings. You don't wanna be with someone who's going to be like closed off and not gonna to wanna to talk to you when things get hard and just like shut down when there's fights and whatever. You want someone who's going to be able to talk through the problems that you have and sit down like grown adults, mature men and women and discuss the problems that they're having in their relationship. Number two, you want someone who compliments your strengths and weaknesses. So for me, I love someone who's going to push me to be better and help me whenever I'm feeling down. You want someone who's going to complement those strengths and weaknesses and also just bring you to being your best version of you. Number three is you want someone who's going to be supportive of your dreams and goals. You don't want to be with someone who's always trying to hold you back or put you down for what you're wanting to go after in life. If someone is doing that to you, they don't share the same goals and beliefs as you do. And that's a sign that you don't want to be in that relationship. Now on to the red flags. All right, we've all had these different kinds of experiences and these are just three things that I can tell you off the top of my head that I would stay away from. Number one, you don't want a guy who's always putting down others or being judgmental, especially when it comes to public situations or whatever, how they're treating the people that are around them, whether that's the waiter or the person at the lobby or whatever it is, you wanna make sure that the person that you're with has a good heart and really just being non-judgmental and constantly building people up is a green flag, but anything else other than that, you don't want you don't want someone who has this big ego that's always trying to be the best in the room or anything like that okay another red flag for you guys is you don't want to be with anyone who is gaslighting you creating arguments making bigger deals out of things that aren't really that big of a deal that's all just going to cause a lot of toxicity in your relationship and as soon as i notice that my emotions are a little bit thrown out of whack from the person that i'm currently talking to that is when there's something wrong. You have to be completely centered as who you are so that nobody has that pull on making you sad or making you down one day and then making you up and making you high the next day. You have to have that from within and you should be happy with or without somebody with you. And that is my first, the first step into finding a good person to be with. You should be happy with you, yourself, alone before you get into a relationship and i promise you it's going to serve you both just as much as you can imagine okay so now for some questions that i got about dating first off i think that my number one question was about dating offline versus online and how can you still meet people even if you're not very social okay so if you're dating online and let's say that you're on tinder i don't know all the different dating sites out there that is going to be something where your intentions have to be really, really pure and it's kind of hard to tell the intentions of others. So I would say like getting to talk to someone, getting to know someone for a little bit before you go out and meet them, obviously with safety precautions, getting to know them before you go out and meet them is probably going to be your best bet. Uh, I personally don't have much experience when it comes to online dating. I'm more of an offline dater. I personally think that you can meet anyone just from walking outside of your place. Um, I've met so many people at the gym that I go to. I've met a lot of people just from, I don't know, walking around in grocery stores. And I think it's all about how you present yourself. And if you're someone who is open and inviting and excited to just be alive and be here on earth, like truly people will look at you and they'll know if you're someone who they can speak to or if they can't. And if you're someone who's always like down looking at your phone or like you're not really you're in la la land you've got your headphones in 24 7 they're not going to feel like you're very approachable so it's all about the way that you kind of present yourself and always present yourself with confidence this goes with the entire thing about relationships in general confidence is key that's more attractive than anything out there so be you be authentically you and show up confidently and what you have to offer another question that i received was about if you're doing personal development consistently, can it be hard for you to find someone who will match you? And I definitely do think that this is something that a lot of people struggle with. I know that for me, I struggled with this for a while. I felt like I was never able to find anyone who matched the growth that I was at or the place that I was at in my life because I am so young and you just have to show up as your best self. And I 
promise you if you're surrounded by the right people and you put yourself in the situations to be found by the right people, you will be. Um, so for example, going to networking events that are maybe more focused around personal development or going to the gym is where you'll probably find someone who's a little bit more into fitness. Maybe shopping at certain grocery stores or just shopping in certain areas or whatever that might look like for you. And honestly, the right person is going to come along at the most random time. It could be your cousin's best friend. It can be somebody who you run into at a store. It can be someone who introduced you through the grapevine. Like it can come from anywhere. So just be open to the opportunity of someone finding you and knowing that that is divine timing for you guys to meet. And I promise that's going to give you so much more just serenity knowing that the right person is coming along. It just comes at a time that you might not expect. Okay, a funny question that I got asked was about showing myself with no makeup. So as you guys know, I am like a total full face girl. I sometimes will do like a little no makeup makeup, but I also am very, very confident without makeup. And that's where that is the difference is if you take off your makeup and I've even noticed this in myself, sometimes I take off my makeup and I just feel a little smaller than I am. And I just kind of hide my face a little bit more, but the more confident that you show up, I promise you, that's what it is. They're there to get to know you. They're not there to just stare at your pretty face. They're there to know who you are in the middle of the night or in the early morning or whatever it might look like. And I mean, I would say just do it when you feel comfortable. You should feel comfortable with the person that you're with. When you're with the right person, they don't care what you look like without makeup. So don't trip yourself up too much. Okay, just to wrap this up, just remember that your relationship should feel effortless and it should feel like something you're excited for, you're happy for, you're ready for. And it all just comes at the right time with the right person. And you never know when that might be, but always just know that everything is happening for you. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. I had so much fun filming it. And if you do have any additional questions, I'd love to do a part two or really get more into depth about the things that I believe in personally when it comes to relationships. But yeah, have a great day, great night, good workout sesh, whatever you're up to at the moment. And thank you. Au revoir.